Hey guys, it's Big Mike, and as always, I want to thank you for being here today. Uh, today we've got Velocity Futures, uh, who is doing the introductions uh, for Kristen at Trading Technologies, uh, who will be covering XTrader, and in particular going to talk about uh, the MD Trader and the unique order entry capabilities that it has. Uh, it's also, be a, also going to be a Q&A, so if you guys have questions along the way, uh, as usual, just type them into the box and either Bob from Velocity will be able to answer it, or if it's an X-Trader question, then uh, Kristen from Trading Technologies can answer it, and um, the answer will come back over your computer speakers. As always, the webinar is being recorded. If you have some type of technical problem, you can check back tomorrow on uh, Big Mike Trading for the recording. All right, guys, hang on one second, and I'm going to turn things over to Bob. Hi everyone, um, I believe you can hear me now and I've taken control here. Um, just like to welcome everyone and thank you for attending the, the Trading Technologies demonstration of the XTrader platform. Uh, my name is Bob Kretschmer, I'm an AP with Velocity Futures and we appreciate the opportunity that M Big Mike has given us to, to present XTrader and the basics of uh, their platform as well as a couple of new things I believe. I did not talk to Krista about um, how in depth they're going to go on some beta stuff that they that they have pending right now, but I think you'll find it interesting. Um, and I'd like to thank her for, for uh, coming out here today. I believe she has an associate with her as well, but uh, I'm sorry I don't have his name. Um, and of course, I'd like to thank Big Mike as always for, for hosting and, and getting us all together here uh, today. So a quick rundown of the agenda today. We are going to start by me briefly going over, excuse me, sorry about that. I'm going to cover some of Velocity's futures services and products for maybe 10 minutes or so, not very long before we get over to Krista. I'll have a Q&A session if you'd like to ask some questions afterwards that we'll briefly go through, and then I'll turn it over to Krista uh, to discuss the X-Trader. And um, I believe, hopefully, some of the new Allo Design Lab. Um, so with that, let's get started. Some of the data, just to let you know, on the screenshots that I've used has been altered for compliance reasons. So please don't use any of the data that you see on here uh, for any kind of real-world decisions or, or trading decisions of any kind. We're using screenshots from our customer portal and our website. The website is uh, tradewithvelocity.com. Uh, for this presentation. You can visit the site anytime for any detailed information you'd like. Just a little bit about us. Uh, we're a full service futures commission merchant. We were founded in 2002 and our client base ranges now from active traders to hedge funds, professional trading groups, and introducing brokers. Last year on average we processed over 320,000 contracts per day and as of July we processed our 400 millionth contract for our clients. So it was a nice milestone there. Um, we've been on Futures Magazine's top 50 broker listing for the last four years and in September we finally posted over a hundred million dollars in clients fund held here at the firm. That's filed with the CFTC. Uh, you, we've been a technology-based firm from the start and this has really allowed us to provide our clients with cutting edge tools and, and great services and still maintain very competitive pricing. Um, there's several things I think that I go into in a little bit in here that, that help us to support our clients better and not have to increase prices. Speaking of prices, uh, the commission tab is on our website. You can access and take a look at it any time. As you can see, they are clearly posted. Um, each contract's commission are broken down by product, volume tiers, platforms, and various exchange memberships. We have a membership desk to assist our, our higher volume clients, the clients that, or, or to let you know if you're someone that should be interested in becoming a member of the CME and reducing your fees. There are certain volume uh, levels that you need to reach depending on the contracts that you trade and so forth and the current cost of seats, of leasing seats or buying seats, and we can help you through all of that. So throughout the site, you'll see links like the ones highlighted here in red. 
Um, you can take, you can click any of these buttons to get to our online account forms at any time. We've made it very efficient and easy as possible to complete the application. And as soon as you're done, you click that you're done on the application and it launches you immediately into the customer portal. It'll be your customer portal to use from then going forward. And it'll walk you through the requirement compliance documents, help you upload that, give you wire instructions, and get you all ready to, uh, to go ahead and start trading. As I mentioned, each of our clients has free access to our powerful and secure client portal. Uh, you're looking here at the home page, and from here you can quickly review and manage your account and much more. From the home page, you can quickly take a look at the real-time positions, P&L history, account balances, net liquidity, monthly and annual contract volume totals, uh, as well as year-to-date net profit and loss curve, which is down there in the bottom left-hand corner. Over to the right, you can quickly see that you can access trade records for viewing or downloading, and you can go back further by clicking that See More. Down them in the bottom right-hand corner, you can access the banking function, so you can wire money in or out or transfer money on your own directly from the portal. Portal is also where you will receive um, exchange platform and other important information from us. You can see the message up there in the upper right hand corner. So it's important that you get on and use your portal on a daily basis. And these are just basic account tools. I'm about to show you just a couple of more things here that will drive you and make you want to really log on. It's, it's a very, very useful tool when you know everything that it can do and, and can access it. Each of these sections uh, is just a basic view and you can expand them by clicking on any of these. Now I'm not going to go over and cover all of these things, I'm just going to quickly go over two so we can get to the uh, X-Trader demonstration. On the Reports tab, uh, it provides several useful customizable charts and graphs that allow you to analyze your own trade. Uh, each has customizable date range you can see up there in the top, and each can be exported uh, as a PDF. Uh, each of these reports are displayed on separate pages, but I put them just on one here for a quick view of uh, what this thing does offer. So the top left is a simple P&L curve over time. You can spread it out over a long period of time or short or intraday or, whatever, or you know, just a couple of days or what have you. The top right is a graph of your daily contract volume. Uh, the bottom left two pie charts are percentage breakdowns of your winning versus losing trades on the right. Um, and your long winners versus short winners on the other side there. The bar chart on the bottom right I, I kind of think is very useful. It's a profit and loss curve by hour of the day. And if you want to stretch this out, say, to the last year of trading, you can start to get a nice look at what time of day you're making and or maybe more importantly losing money throughout the day. And all these things are free tools that we give our clients to try to help them you know, become better traders and, and uh, everything we can do to help out, we think, uh, helps everyone. So not shown here uh, are the charts showing gross profit per trade, uh, downloadable records showing all trades, uh, fees down to the item line, commissions by trade, P&L by trade, start of day and end of day positions, and on and on. Now in the interest of time, like I said, I won't go into all these, but you can get a look at these as soon as you have an account open and, and, and peruse through them and see what we have to offer. Now the leaderboard is also in the portal, accessed through the portal, and is most certainly our most popular uh, item. Now I checked on here a couple of days ago and there were 999 people that had opted in, but you can see on the screenshot here, uh, 982 had opted in uh, by the last update of January 11th when I took this screenshot. As a client, you can anonymously opt in as well. You can set up an alias name or just put nothing, and you can see on the left there, it'll say Trader 12 or 13 or what have you. Um, the leaderboard, the one you're looking at here, uh, ranks each trader and their gain or loss during the day. So it depends on the current day's trade data um, and includes uh, what products they're trading. In that second column there, what products they had traded that day, I should say. Um, their current day's gains or losses broken down by open and closed position, those, those first two columns, and then the net combined P&L on the day, and then ranks them. Um, 
The leader in each category is highlighted in green, as you can see here. And you, if you do appear on any one of these boards, will be highlighted in blue, as you can see down there. This is the lagger board. Uh, it's the same as the leaderboard, but on the opposite side, we strip people's aliases out uh, and just include the trader number um, for obvious reasons. Some people just don't want to be showing up when they're losing, but you can see the products that are being traded, open, closed, and, and net GNL. The next screen shows the rankings by product. So if you leave it unfiltered, it shows the largest gain in any single product by any particular trader. So one trader, one product, the guy that made the most in a single product is on the top of the list. Um, if you use the drop down menu there, you can see you can select any of those contracts and get a ranking uh, by trader in each particular contract. So if you just want to look at the leaders in the ES, you choose ES in the drop down and uh, then you'll be looking at top down on the ES. This next screen, uh, let's see, sorry, uh, the last two pages on the graphs that display the whole group. So these couple of pages here are designed not so much around you as a trader and what you're, what you're doing, and not so much uh, ranking one trader by the next, but looking at the whole group of traders that are active during the day. Um, Let's see. Uh, the pie chart shows the percentage of traders who are up, down, and flat on the top there. That is all traders, all contracts. So it'll give you a good idea of what's going on in the day. The top set uh, is all products. The very bottom set is weighted by volume tier. So these bottom two sets you can choose. You can see in the middle there you can choose by product, and I chose ES. And this will give you the percentage of people that are up, down, and flat in the ES on the day. The bottom weights it by volume. So the bigger traders, the guy that trades more, are weighted heavier in those scales. And you can see the center set are the high volume traders. And I believe that is anyone that has done 2,000 contracts in the last 30 days. I forgot exactly, so don't take my word on that. But there's a cutoff. So the one in the middle there are the high volume traders. And you can view their performance on the day versus the lower volume traders on the right hand set. This next page is, um, let's see, gives you a breakdown of products, kind of more product related. You can see this top set of graphs. I like this one. It's a nice, quick look at the top eight contracts by popularity, meaning the number of traders that are trading those contracts on the day. It'll give you a quick look at what products are doing well for people and what products are doing poorly and what are kind of um, stuck in the middle of there. You know, as I said, it is the most popular aspect that we have of, of the portal, and because of that, uh, we're really working to expand this and taking suggestions from our clients and integrating them. And in fact, the last few pages you saw, and really the leaderboard itself, all came from clients' requests, the things they wanted to see. So as a client, if you have something that, that you think would be useful for the group and certainly for yourself, um, there's a little, uh, there's red right there on the left hand, that red feedback button all the way to the left in the center. You can click on that anytime and, and put in some suggestions on things. So uh, including XTrader, Velocity has five trading platforms from which you can choose. Um, several of the platforms including XTrader are offered for free of platform fees. So the normal fee for XTrader and several of the other platforms we cover in a lot of uh, instances. Uh, the fee for multi-exchange XTrader or um, the more advanced versions that you can get, Agile Design Line Lab, if you're about to see that or what have you on, on TT, um, you can get prices from, from trading technology directly. We also provide free real-time data simula simulators for any of the platforms. So lastly, I uh, just want to quickly mention our data network and hosting services. Um, as far as our infrastructure, we maintain world-class data centers in Chicago, Houston, and Frankfurt, Germany. Our network uses T1 carriers exclusively. We utilize self-optimizing routing technology that's designed to eliminate bottlenecks. And we provide hosting facilities with rack space in the Equinox data center next to the CME for uh, black box latency sensitive trading systems. And also our main trading systems are housed there. And in fact, now uh, we have moved into the new Aurora data center. I don't know if any of you are aware that the CME 
uh, bought their own uh, data center in Aurora, Illinois. They have placed their matching engines in that data center, and you can lease rack space in that very building next to the matching engines. It cannot be any closer. Very expensive, but we felt it was well worth it to, to move our, our, our gateways and so forth into that data center to try to maintain the absolute lowest latency <coughs> excuse me, um, systems that we can. So to finish, um, our support and training desk is staffed with knowledgeable, helpful people, 24-7 trade desk, or 24 six and a half or what have you. Um, and we use an automated phone system. Uh, one of the things as far as technology that lets us serve you guys better is, is we have a phone system that recognizes who you are as long as you're calling in on a phone number that is associated with your account. We know who you are. If you're in positions, we know the positions you're in. If you have open orders, we know the orders you're in. And if you are calling with an open position or an open order, and we have a line of people that are calling in to ask about our company sales-wise or what have you, you get put in front of that line. So your phone call will be put in front of the pecking order uh, for, your, for your call to be answered and your issues to be, to be resolved. Um, so, as I said, you can contact us uh, by looking at our website. We have a chat feature on there that you can click on. You can see our phone number there. Trading Technologies, I'm sure it will give you some contact information. I have the web website up there, tradingtechnologies.com, so if you have any questions about XTrader after this, um, feel free to ask them. Hey, Bob. Uh, before we so turn things... that's uh, what I got. Yes, sir. Sorry. Before we turn things over to Krista, and I want to correct myself, I said Kristen earlier. It's actually Krista, so sorry about that. Looks like we have uh, just a yes. couple questions. Um, Gentle Trader wants to know if there is any type of... Uh, uh, phone application, you know, iPhone, Android, something like that, to see positions or close positions? Um, you know, if you have web access, then you can, well, you know, no, is the short answer. Uh, we, we, had, um, we had a platform that had web uh, trading capabilities at least, um, but they were bought by an FX firm recently. Strategy Runner has been bought by an FX firm and they're pulling most, if not all, of their futures um, capabilities out. So that was the only platform that could be traded right. on. So you don't have uh, an app, but you, you can still, I mean, I log on personally. I log on to the web interface, and I can see the portal on my phone. Yeah, on my so, your, yeah. And so your portal is accessible by, you know, the Internet. So anywhere you can get on the Internet, you can access your account right. and at least see your now. Your, your trading and so forth obviously has to be done um, through that, although we are working on basic trading functionality in the portal. I mean, I probably would withhold saying that or getting you know eager and, and waiting at the door for it to arrive because it's a while off. Um, but at some point, we will have at least basic order entry uh, or position liquidation in the portal itself. All right. Uh, a couple of first here. Okay, a couple more questions before we turn it over. Paul wants to know, uh, and I'm going to summarize this. Uh, Paul wants to know how fast XTrader is compared to NinjaTrader. Is that something that you should answer? Well, uh, you if you're comparing them at our firm, um, NinjaTrader uses Trading Technologies data feed. So Trading Technologies is XTrader. Um, the TT data feed is used for both. And, you know, I don't know, unless you're trading algorithmically, uh, if you're manually trading, it really doesn't have anything to do with the platform that you can see with the human eye. I mean, you're probably talking about milliseconds. So really, it, it, I don't know when it comes down to it, <clears throat> but it doesn't matter because you're using the same data feed. Speed really is a matter of the lines that you have that are connecting you to the market and the data feed that is feeding you the, uh, the trade information and launching your orders off to the market. Uh, Paul, I'll, I'll say, having used both, that the XTrader DOM, the MD Trader, definitely appears to be much faster. Um, I don't know if that's just because of the way they update the screen, and Ninja Trader, I think, has some type of a, uh, they like coalesce the data a little bit before they update the screen every X milliseconds. I, don't don't quote me on that, but I'm thinking that's what it is. But I really think that it's more about the features than, than anything else. All right, Norm wants to know how many trade, how many contracts you have to trade in order to get X Trader for free. Yeah, so we uh, have implemented a minimum trade amount. Um, you know, as you know, X Trader single exchange is six hundred and twenty-five dollars a month. 
um, Velocity uh, offers that same platform for free. Now, free to you is not free to us. And so we put a, a minimum on there. If you do uh, 25 round trips, 50 contracts that is, in a month, um, there will be no fee. And even if you don't, the fee is only $30 per month. So quite a bit cheaper, obviously, than, than getting the pay for XTrader. Okay. Uh, Greg has a couple questions. And I think, Greg, to be honest, would be better if you talked directly to Bob or emailed uh, Velocity yes. directly on some of those. Um, but there is there is a trading technologies data feed for NinjaTrader. Yes, there is. Yes. Um, yes. We okay. use that for, for all of our fix clients. We use the TT data feed. Okay. Uh, and then looks like one last question. Jim wants to know if uh, TT has tick data uh, or do they bunch it like TradeStation? I, no, they, they have, um, and we'll, we can let Krista answer to this if she wants, and she is the expert. We'll probably want to push these uh, questions to them, but yes, they have tick data. Yeah, and uh, it, is, it is not um, yeah, snapshot. Not right, exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. guys. All right, so thanks, Bob, and everybody can contact Bob there if they have any further questions. There's his contact info. And now uh, give me just a minute, and I'm going to turn things over to Krista to start the XTrader uh, presentation. Hey, everybody. Can everyone see my screen? Okay? Yeah, we can see it, and we can hear you. You can see everything? Okay, great. All right, I am, uh, I'm Krista Eichsman with Trading Technologies. I'm being joined by Sean Sparks. Um, so I'm just going to go over the uh, basic demonstration, and then we'll kind of get into some of the more advanced features as we go on. So if you'll notice the platform right here, um, we have, this is our market grid, and what this allows you to do is view multiple products for multiple exchanges in one window, um, with one-click order entry. So I'm going to pull this down just a little bit so you can kind of see what all we've dragged in. Um, I have kind of the ES contracts, the NASDAQ, the Dow. And so basically you can pull in all these different attributes, the bid, the ask. Um, you can even see things such as the high-low. Um, you can see the close, the open, settle. I don't have all the columns in here just for space, but you can really just customize this any way you want to. Um, you can see the change for the day as well as your current net position. So as you see right now, I am short 50 contracts of the Dow right now. Notice I have tabs here along the bottom. So I can tab uh, different products if I want to view them kind of in a different format. So I have my ES in one tab, my crude in the next. I can go down and view currencies in another tab as well as our auto spreader, which I'll touch on just a little bit later. Um, but the auto spreader basically just allows you to create a spread for any two products, whether they're with the same exchange or not. Basically, if you wanted to spread corn and coffee, you could. So I have a few examples that I'll go over a little bit later in the presentation. So there's several ways to do anything in XTrader. So for basic order entry, um, you can go the normal way. You can come into our market grid, select your uh, price you want to use, your contract size, and then just hit buy or sell and then you'll have your order working in the market. Or a lot of people prefer our MD Trader, that's our market depth ladder. And this is a really fast one-click execution. It's pretty much what TT is known for. We do own the patent for it. Um, the main thing that we have in ours that a lot of the others don't is a completely static price ladder, um, which allows you to make sure that you don't ever miss your price as that ladder is moving. You can see the depth of market here, um, you know, how many orders are in right now. And you can see this order right here just to the left. That is an order that I've put in. This column just to the right of that where it says 210, that is the estimated position in queue. So it can show you um, an estimate of how many people are in front of me to get filled. So for basic order entry, you just select your contract size. And if you want to buy, you can just go over and click in the blue. And if you want to sell, you just move your cursor and click in the red. So let's say I just want to go ahead and put in a buy order. I just do one click, and my order is in the market. 
if I want to move this order up to a, a price that's closer to the market, I can just right click and drag it. And then I'll also have a little pane here to show exactly what I'm in, my username, my price, everything. If I want to just delete this order, I can just quickly left click it and it's out of the market. Um, if you'll notice here along the right hand side, you'll see um, prices and quantities coming through. That is our time and sales feature and you can just see basically every trade that is coming in and you can tell it to highlight certain quantities. So if you want to, like I have it right now set to anything over 50 to go ahead and highlight so I can tell a better idea of what exactly the market's doing. Now our ladder is also really good for doing uh, order types such as stop limits, uh, OCOs, and icebergs. So if I just want to do a basic stop limit right now, I'll just click on the stop. Let's say I want to do five contracts and I want to do a buy stop. So I'll just hover over in the blue and then I'll click and there's my stop. You can see that I've bought none, I'm working none, but I'm undisclosed five. So that means once the market moves up there, my stop's going to hit. You can move these the same way by right click and dragging. You can delete them the same way by left clicking. You can do OCOs in a similar fashion. Um, let me just delete my current order right here. Uh, so you just click on the OCO button. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set that up right there. Uh, for um, My limit order is going to happen first. So basically I'll just click in the red. And so once I've already done that, it'll give me a stop sign so I don't accidentally do it again. And then now that I want to go ahead and do my limit order, I'll just go ahead and click in the red again. And so what this is going to do is when one order gets hit, the other one's going to go ahead and cancel. Um, so that way you don't have to sit there and just watch and wait to put your stop in. It kind of does everything for you. Um, you can do the same with the icebergs. So this one's just going to do a 100 lot order. And I'm going to go ahead and tell that to show 10. So as soon as I put that order in, it's going to know it's an iceberg. So I've just done a hundred odd order right now. It's working 10, it's disclosing 10, and it's undisclosed 90. So I know exactly what I'm doing. And again, easily I can right click and delete that. If you want to trade different accounts in the ladder, you can as well. You can just hit the drop down, tell it you want to go to account one or account two. However, you personally want to separate out your accounts. Um, you'll be able to see your total net position here in the top corner. So if I want to just, just go straight to the market, I've just done that by going over and clicking to the red below the market price. And you can now see that I'm short five contracts. Now if I wanted to go through and um, make any significant changes to any kind of working orders, I can do that again in the ladder itself. Or I can come down to the orders and fill window, click on that particular working order, go up to the top, change the quantity, hit change. If I want to, I can add a confirmation, that's optional and then just go through and hit submit. I can choose to hold orders if I'm waiting on certain information to come out before I submit my order into the market, and then just hit submit to put that back into the market as well. All of these, uh, the fill data is all exportable to Excel, so you can have a, a daily record of it if you choose to do so. Um, all of your P&L is going to show up in the bottom here right now. Um, you can separate this by product, by contract, so you can see exactly how you're doing um, for each product. You can separate this into different tabs, so if you wanted to see only your working orders, only your filled orders, if you only wanted to see what, how you're doing in a specific product, such as ES, or if I wanted to see how I was doing in a specific account for account one or account two. That way it makes it pretty easy to break up. Um, another good thing about XTrader is you can create your own synthetic order types using the SSE. Um, so basically, if I wanted to do any kind of timed order, uh, any kind of volume slice order, I could do all of those in XTrader. And I can set up templates so that I don't have to go in and reset them up every time. So I'll just go through and select an order template for a timed order. So it's going to put in all of my information, how I want to split it up, and what time I want to submit the order and then just hit buy. And so my order's in the market, and if you'll notice here, there's my timed order that I've already put in with that template. Again, one-click order entry does all of that for me, and I can go through and make changes, such as when, when the order is going to go through, what the quantity is going to be, and all that I can do in XTrader. Um, 
And now I want to go through and um, talk about our auto spreader a little bit. I'm just going to go through and show you a uh, completely different workspace. And it's pretty easy to toggle between different workspaces. If you want to uh, do different things, you are more than welcome to do this. So right now I'm going to go into my auto spreader workspace. And this is just a simple auto spreader for the, uh, the NASDAQ versus the Russell 2000. This is a spread that I personally created um, using the parameters that made sense to me. Um, and we also have several configurations already pre-made if there's a specific spread um, that you're wanting to do, um, for example. So just I'm going to bring up the configuration right now. And basically, this is where I can put in all of my parameters. So with a spread ratio, that's just how many I'm going to buy, how many I'm going to sell. And then you can go through, and then you can uh, create the, your own configuration. Again, this is a little overwhelming just for the demonstration, but we can go through this on an individual basis. Once you decide to get TT and you want to go ahead and, um, and get some training. Uh, I do have a question that just came up. Um, you want to automatically enter a stop and profit target on the zone when you enter a position. Um, so how I'm taking that is once you get filled on an order, then you want to put your target and then your stop loss, um, such as an OTO order. Um, that is the case. You actually will be able to do that in the newer version of XTrader using our Algo Design Lab, um, which is something I'm going to go over just a little bit later in the presentation. Um, but for right now, uh, into the auto spreader, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how a simple order works. So I'm just going to click on one contract. I'm going to buy at the spread of 463. And so uh, let me move that price up just a little bit. So there you can see my two orders working in the market. So I have a 2 to 1 ratio going on right now. So that's why uh, this one says 2 and this one says 1. So the basic logic of the auto spreader is that it's going to look at the spread price. It's going to look immediately where I can get filled at the market price on my hedge leg. It's going to calculate where that buy order goes uh, depending on what that spread price is. So you'll notice there's actually a buy order in the NASDAQ leg, and then there's a sell order in the Russell 2000. And basically, that's because I'm quoting both sides of the market. So what's going to happen is once I get filled on one order, then the other one is just going to cancel. We have a lot of parameters to prevent um, getting legged, which means just getting hit on one side and not getting hit on the other side. Um, that's called our hedge manager, which I'll just do a brief description of real quick. Notice in this bottom pane right here, you can create rules. So I have a specific rule for the NASDAQ leg of my spread so that once 2,000 milliseconds pass, I'm going to fill with limit, again, which is the most aggressive setting. You can also create custom rules. Um, with the um, auto spreader as well. You just select your specific leg and then um, just go to custom and then you're going to be able to use this drag and drop hedge rule builder in order to tell it exactly what you want to do with your hedge leg. And again that's something we can get into more with more of a training session. The next workspace we're going to go over um, is going to be our auto spreader or auto trader and Excel functionality. Um, another reason people really like trading technologies is because you can export all of the data into Excel, uh, make your calculations, and actually put that same data right back into trading technologies to automate trades for you. Um, in this specific example, notice here along the bottom um, that I have all these different uh, exchanges, products, that I've brought into Excel, you can actually create drop down. So if I wanted to go into uh, crude oil specifically and I wanted to look at April, I can just select that month and it's going to show me the different uh, prices as well, as well as the net change. If I wanted to look at August, that's going to change as well. And again, that's something we can help you set up. Um, so just to do a simple strategy, just to show you kind of how the auto trader works, um, this is just a simple strategy we created. If the net change for ES is less than 100 and the net change for NQ is less than 50, then buy NQ. Uh, we can actually go through and change these parameters manually. So if I want it to be ES is less than 100 and the NQ is greater than 200, I could do that. And there's my strategy. 
Um, so notice this box right here, it's going to calculate the bid quantity, the bid price, the ask price, the ask quantity, and the maximum position. If you'll look just above the Excel sheet, you'll notice that same data from Excel is actually going into the auto trader. So once this ask quantity is changed from zero to one, it's going to go ahead and execute all the way until it reaches its max position of 10. So if we wanted to go through and make this condition true, we would see the auto trader um, go ahead and execute uh, that for us. Um, again, this Excel data is fully customizable. Um, you can bring in prices, the last traded price, open, high, low, close, as well as fills and working orders. You can pull all that data um, directly into Excel, create your formulas, and then again pull that directly into AutoTrader. Um, again, the AutoTrader and Excel functionality does require a little bit of training, which again, um, we are more than happy to provide that training for you. Um, now, AutoTrader, what, uh, in our current version, is basically our highest level of automation, but we do have um, our Algo Design Lab, which is actually going to bring that up a level, so you can pretty much create any sort of strategy that you want to do. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up our Algo Design Lab for you, just so you can get an idea of how that works. So what this is going to do is you'll be able to drag and drop blocks onto the canvas and it's basically going to write the code for you. So this is hard coded. Our algo server, which your algo is going to sit on, is actually sitting right next to the exchange so you're going to have a very fast execution with these orders. The one thing that our algo design lab has that the auto trader does not is it has the uh, ability to do event-driven orders, such as when you get a fill, it'll be able to trigger another order. So just to give you a quick example, if I were to drag and drop this instrument block in, I would double click on it, I would go through and select a contract, contract month, and then there it is. If I wanted to bring in certain data for it, such as the bid price, I could go through, select that, attach the two, and there you're going to see the bid price for the March natural gas contract. So if I wanted to create an order for that, basically all, all I would do is attach the instrument, attach the price, and then I would need to give it a quantity. So I would just drag the number block in and give it a quantity. And there I have a working order block that's going to bid five at the bid price. Um, and now with this Algo Design Lab, um, it is all included with an XTrader Pro license as well as the Auto Trader and the Auto Spreader. Um, the only thing that you will need is for Velocity to have the Algo Server, which they plan to do. Um, and so you'll be able to customize all of these algorithms and build your own event-driven formulas. And we have a complete training guide for you. We have an entire website that has a syllabus, that has videos you can watch. Um, we have a advanced technical support team forming in Chicago right now, so any question you have about how to build an algo, you can direct to them. And we also plan to be getting some third-party developers as well, so they'll be able to help you create some of these strategies. So I'm just going to pull up a sample strategy um, real quick, just so you can kind of get an idea of the kind of things you can build. So this is just a simple entry and exit strategy. So I'm bidding one contract at the bid price. Once I get filled, I want to add three ticks, and then I want to sell three ticks above where I bought. So now that that strategy has been built, I've saved it. So I just go load it to my Algo server, send it over, deploy the algorithm, um, and then basically that algorithm would show up in your dashboard and then you would be able to go ahead and send that out. And then you'd also be able to launch any of your algorithms um, from your MD Trader window as well. So if you have a specific algorithm that you want to use, um, you could just go through, select your different parameters, um, the contract month you want to do, and then you could go through 
and then go ahead and send that algorithm out. So this is the algorithm that I have. I'm going to bid at the bid price, and then it's going to go ahead and send my sell order uh, three ticks above the market as it's getting filled. Notice I got filled on um, two of those, so it went ahead and put up an order three ticks above for two, and as that order continues to get filled, it's going to go ahead and send the five lot order up as well. Notice you'll see my net position as well as the P&L for that particular strategy um, that's running. You can also have public algos if you are sharing any kind of uh, order book with anyone else. You guys can build algorithms for each other to go through and use. Again, this is all included with our XTrader Pro license, um, and you can just customize the strategies. And with this specific strategy, probably is about 240 lines of code. Took me about five minutes to build. Um, so the next workspace we are going to go through and look at is our charting package. Um, I am uh, going to go ahead and hand the mic over to Sean Sparks, and he's going to talk about uh, some of the things you can do with our charting package and trading technologies. Hi, everybody. Um, TT does have a relatively robust charting, charting package that we use. Um, here you see I've, I've created a couple of diff, few different ones that we're looking at for the same, same product. So we're looking at the ES here. And on the top you can see we, you can customize the chart to any, any way you want. So here we have a daily chart on the top with the black background. It gives you an idea where you are daily, and then we have a 30-minute in the middle for, for kind of intraday trading, and then the five-minute for possible execution. Um, if you'll notice on the top, you can see a little you can see a little red arrow. So what it's showing you on each of those positions is where we've sold. So it gives you a visual indication of where we've sold. And at any point, as you execute that trade, it'll show you all the different entries. So for instance, if you uh, step your way into a trade, It'll show you an idea of where you stepped at each individual spot and monitor that. So here we have just some basic trend lines, fib lines, um, different, kind, different kinds of things you can do here. Technical indicators, you can see that we have quite a few that, that we can use and put on at any time. I have a MACD on the, uh, the bottom, too, to give me an idea of relative strength. Um, as you can see here, you can draw any, any chart lines you want. Right now we have a rising wedge in the ES uh, March contract. So it's very customizable, um, but we are definitely built for execution. So this, so this charting um, will allow you to visually see everything you need to and then execute. So for instance, this is, a, this is a common screen we see where we see a lot of the guys trading the ES, looking at three different time frames and then executing on our depth of market ladder. On the top, you'll notice you can watch your P&L, but, but at any point, um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, also, you can blow these charts up to take a better look at them. You can always squeeze in the data so that you can, you can draw different trend lines and different things like that. You can expand it out along the time axis so that you can see a little more in depth, and you can make these things as customizable as you want as well. So we can blow these up, look at them however you want to do it. But it's very customizable, as is everything we do at, at TT. Okay, I see a few questions that have come up. Um, one of them is, are OCO orders put on a server, or does it run on the client desktop? Um, the OCO orders we have right now, they run on the client desktop. However, if you do create an OCO order um, that is on ADL, that will actually run um, on the algo server that's going to be at the exchange. Um, another one, what is the website for the Algo Design Lab? Um, that is something that I will put up at the end so you guys can all have it. Um, and then the other question was, can you write custom in indicators for XTrader? It's something that we don't have the functionality for right now. We were actually in the process of updating our charting package um, probably within the next year or so, and I think one of the plans is to be able to write custom indicators. Unfortunately, I don't have a specific date on that at the time, um, but we can definitely let Velocity know once that comes out, and then they can pass the information on to you guys. The, indicator, the indicators that we do have are, are changeable, so you can change all the data involved. For instance, on this MACD that we have here, it's your basic 12.269, but you can change any of those parameters along the way. 
Um, we just got another question. I would like to know how the order of routing process with XTrader works. Which, uh, which way to take my order from the PC to the exchange using Velocity as a clearer? Um, well, basically what XTrader is going to do is uh, XTrader is going to send the order to your TT gateway, um, which is going to be going uh, straight to the exchange from there. Um, Velocity is set up just like our all of other clearage, so they should have just as fast execution. Um, and they could probably answer that question, how they are actually connected and set up a little bit better. Um, um, if anyone else has any questions, feel free to write them uh, in the pool. Hey, Krista. Uh, when do you think uh, the uh, Alpha yes. Design Lab is going to be ready? Soon? Well, our current release date right now is February 29th. Um, so that is the, the current date. But I would kind of guesstimate just sometime in Q1 that actually may get pushed back into early March. Um, so it's kind of the general time frame. Okay, great. I'm definitely looking forward um, to that. Another question, does TT continue to support the TT API now that you offer ADL? Um, yes, we definitely will continue to do that. Um, also, something I uh, did not mention previously is that with the new version of XTrader, we are going to have a full simulator. And this is going to come with XTrader version 7.11, regardless if you're on Pro, regardless if you have access to the server. Um, everybody's just going to get it. And you'll have the same products that you currently have access to, or once you have access to in production, you'll have those in the simulated environment as well. Um, this is just a sample of what it looks like. If you'll notice that big yellow bar on top that says simulation. Um, so basically you won't ever have any questions of am I in simulation, am I in production. It's going to be very clear. You'll have to log out of production and then log back in to the simulation environment. Um, I have some more questions that came in. Um, I have one that was for velocity. If um, if TT costs six twenty five a month, how can Velocity offer it for thirty? If no trades taken during a month for free of twenty five round turns, um, that's something I'm going to have Velocity answer. Um, do you have a list of built in indicators? Yes, we do. Um, if you right click and go to technical indicators, there is a list of the current indicators we offer at this time. Again, they're continuing to update uh, that list for you. Um, we also have that list on our website as well. Um, next question, how do you add a trailing stop to an open position? Um, that's something you can easily add in the ND Trader ladder. Um, if you just right click, go to properties, select trailing stop. Right now I have that set from tick, three ticks from the last trader price. Um, go to one of these order buttons and put in trailing stop. So I just click on my contract size and I want it to be a trailing stop. I'll just go through and click anywhere in the blue, and it's going to send that trailing stop three ticks away from the last trader price. I can also do the same if I want to sell, and it's going to put it three ticks from the last trader price. Hey, Karen. Uh, um, it's Big Mike. I happen see, to know yeah, another cost is Sorry, I happen to know the answer to that question on, on getting X Trader for free. If you go to Velocity's site, uh, tradewithvelocity.com, and you'll see all the uh, commissions listed, and there's different tabs at the top. And if you look at the X Trader free, and versus if you paid for X Trader yourself, you'll see you know something like uh, 50 cents per side. Um, so you're paying a little bit for every contract, but you know maybe that's better for you than paying 625. Or if you do more volume, then maybe you want to pay the 625 and save save the round turns. All right, thanks, Mike. Um, the next question I have, are multi-charts and market delta trading platforms supported? Um, we don't officially support it, but we do have some users that are doing that right now. Um, contact us directly. Um, we'll give you some more information. I'll put our contact information up at the very end. Um, can you interact with orders placed via AD? I think you mean ADL. Um, and you uh, will be able to change those variables once you build the strategy and launch it, yes. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and put up our contact information up here um, if you guys need to contact us. Um, Sean and myself, we are located in Houston, um, right next to Velocity. And we also have Barbara Sell, who is in Chicago. And um, th their information is on there as well. Um, and then as promised, let me just quickly type in here the link for our ADL website um, for you guys. Um, does anybody else have any more questions right now? Uh, Krista, regarding some of the, uh, I, for, I forget what you guys call them at XTrader, but just going back to MD Trader, where you can set up um, like automatic trailing stops and that type of thing. Can you yes. maybe touch on that just for a second? Okay. Um, the automatic trailing stops that I built um, or that come with the XTrader platform away from ADL, um, again, you can just click on the trailing stop button right here, select your contract size, and just click in the blue to place your trailing stop three ticks away from the last traded price because that's what I currently had it set to. Um, you can also build a trailing stop in the, on the uh, Algo Design Lab, and that's something you can also pull up in the MD Trader ladder as well. Um, you can just go through and uh, just customize how you want to do it. Um, this particular uh, order instrument was made for the ES March, which has just come up. Um, so I go ahead and select my contract size, and I go ahead and place my bid. So once that bid hits, um, uh, depending on my algo and how I've written it, um, you can go ahead and have that either uh, place an OCO with a trailing stop, just a basic OCO that's resting on the server, or basically anything that you would like to do. Okay, we have a few more questions. Um, where can I sign up for a SIM account to test XTrader? Um, I believe you can do that through Velocity's website. Velocity may need to jump in and correct me on that if that's the case. Um, let's see. So OCO, in the meantime, automatic upon entry is via the OCO Trader separate program. Um, we do have a separate program called the OCO Trader. Um, that's just an add-on application, which is all, all those are kind of being replaced by the new functionality that is coming out in our new version 7.11 uh, at the end of February. Um, next question, does the DOM offer cumulative volume capabilities? Um, yes, we do uh, show the current volume for the day on our chart. I can go ahead, or on our DOM trader, let me go ahead and pull that up for you. Um, if I go ahead and pull up a... Uh, let's just go with a crude oil contract. And I can just go through and quickly add the volume at price with the text and the bars. And then you can see kind of the volume for the day. Um, right now you can see the total volume for the day. This is just for our SIM contract. And then you can see the volume at each traded price. So you can see that 216 right here, that is just for the 99.16 price that you see right there. I think I think Fernando was talking about uh, cumulative delta volume or like volume profile, market profile, and I you know personally when I use X Trader, uh, no disrespect, but it's I don't think that a lot of people use it for the charts. I think that you use it for everything else, and then you have a separate charting uh, you know program. You're right. It, it's, it's built specifically for execution and quick and, and accurate execution, and the charts are kind of a feature we've added on to kind of supplement. So that's a, that's a correct thing. Um, and okay. then with the, the cumulative volume, that is something we do show on our charts. Um, that's just different indicators that you can add in there, but we don't have anything on our DOM trader um, that shows that. Um, another question, is there an easy way to get the decimal in prices for instruments replacing the price column without it? Um, the CME does not send their data to us with a decimal point. Um, other exchanges do, um, such as ICE, but currently CME, we don't have a decimal place. And it also, if we did add one on our side, it would actually slow down the feed, and our uh, main thing is speed of execution. Um, let's see. Is XTrader supported on Apple? 
Um, right now, it is not supported on Apple. Um, we do have an agreement, or we're kind of working on an agreement um, with uh, iBroker right now um, for the iPad application. Right now, that is not completely ready. Um, again, once that is, uh, we will go through Velocity with that, and they can uh, send that information out to you guys. Um, another question, can the DOM show the number of contracts traded at the top bid or offer? Um, well, right now, uh, we just have the accumulated, uh, or excuse me, just the volume at price available right now. Um, next question, so I could start with ADL now to get OCO upon entry and then just transition to new version. Um, uh, right now, the ADL is only available in version 7.11, which is currently in beta right now. Um, once that is released, you could go ahead and have access to the ADL in the sim environment and then decide to go production later. Um, but right now, you have our basic OCO functionality um, outside of ADL. ADL is just if you want your OCO to sit on the server. Um, is ADL in the low budget version? Um, ADL comes with our pro package, so um, depending on what Velocity considers their low budget version, um, I, I would think in the basic package, probably that is not the pro version, um, but with the pro version, you will have ADL. So just to make sure I understand uh, the ADL, I can set everything up, it gets get sent to the, uh, the server, the gateway server or some server, and then I could literally turn my computer off. I don't need to be running XTrader and it will execute. Am I right or wrong with that? Um, that is correct. The, order, the orders will sit at the server and you will just tell ADL if there's any sort of like server disconnection or anything like that, what you want to do with the order, if you want it to delete, if you want it to stay, just anything like that. Okay, awesome. And that brings me to the next question of reporting and analytics. Um, you mentioned being able to export to Excel, and is there, is there some type of, uh, you know, m more than just fill reports that I could get, um, you know, what what's offered there for analyzing trades? Um, well, right now there is the ability to export from Excel from the orders and fill window. It's basically, you just right click, export, decide where you want your folder to go. Or you can actually have this set up automatically to do it at a certain time every day. Um, we also have the ability to bring your fills into Excel live. You can have a live feed that updates the Excel um, automatically. And I, are you talking about live market data? You can basically bring any live market data in and run any kind of calculations or formulas that you want on that live data um, to really analyze it that way as well. Okay. Uh, is that is that what you were asking there? Uh, not really. I, I I got that part. I was talking about uh, fills, executions. If I could look at stuff other than just you know date, time, fill price, um, you know, like I, I'm used to looking at maximum adverse excursion or maximum favorable excursion, and uh, you know, win loss percentages, uh, win loss dollar ratios, that kind of stuff. It can all be calculated in Excel. We do have a plugin called Trade Analyzer. Um, frankly, I, I haven't seen too many people use it, but it does give you more of a trade station like uh, readout where you can see the number of trades you've done, the win versus losses, and some other information that goes that uh, you know those type of details. I, I think that's what you more you want something like that. Okay. And I also want to say I, I'm seeing more and more questions for Bob. It's called Trade Analyzer. Okay, I'm seeing more questions for Bob at Velocity, so as soon as uh, TT is done, we could go back to Bob and he could wrap up any of these other pricing questions. Okay, um, we are, I mean, that's pretty much our, our uh, basic presentation. Um, I do have a question that says, if you have time, could you show us how to set up a spread and auto spreader? Um, Mike, I'm not sure how much time you allotted for this, if I should go ahead and... Do that, or just have them contact uh, us directly. Uh, you can you can do it if it's only a couple minutes, but anything more advanced, they should probably just contact you. Okay, sure. I'll go back into um, my auto spreader workspace real quick and just kind of go over generally um, how I set up the configuration. 
basically the formula for the auto spreader is going to be leg A times the spread multiplier. So it's going to be uh, my NQ price times the multiplier, which is 0 0.01, um, just based on how they tick and how the pricing, uh, how the prices are. And then for my Russell 2000 leg, um, I have my multiplier is 2.5. So leg A times the multiplier minus leg B times the multiplier. And that's going to give you your spread price. So it's just up to you which one you want to tick like the other one, um, how you want to convert it yourself. Um, so that's just how you uh, set up a simple auto spreader. Um, if I want to just create a new one, basically all you do is just drag your two contracts in. So let's say I wanted to do... March crude and April crude. I know for a fact that the spread ratio on that is a one-to-one -one ratio, so is the spread multiplier. I just name my spread. I can select a color if I want to, and that just helps you differentiate between the outrights and what you have in auto spreader. And then there are a lot of different variables you can go through in order to make sure that you uh, don't miss one leg uh, or don't miss your hedge leg and then get filled on your quoting leg. Um, all these are probably something we should uh, go through uh, maybe in an individual training session, which again, we'd be happy to do. Um, so then I just hit OK. There's the spread I just created. I can go ahead and launch it in the MD Trader with both legs. And it goes ahead and uh, launches my spread. Um, so here's my current spread price right now. And then if I wanted to trade that spread, I just go ahead, one click entry, and I can do both. If I wanted to turn the active quoting off and only quote one side of the market, we always recommend uh, quoting the less liquid side. So if I go through and do my spread, notice only one of the legs is showing up here. So what it's looking at is where I can eventually get hit on my bid and then place or uh, placing that spread order um, accordingly. And again, I'll pull up our contact information again. And then feel free to contact any one of the when you any one of us here at Train Technologies if you wanted to go into anything else um, into more detail. Okay, perfect. That's great. Uh, all right. So if you guys have more questions for X Trader or TT or a uh, Algo Design Lab, then there's the contact info. And then uh, she put the website down at the bottom for the ADL. I also put it on the thread on BMT just now. You can check back. And then. Um, if there's not any more questions for them, then I'm going to turn things back over to Bob at Velocity to answer some of these pricing questions. All right. Thanks, Krista. Really appreciate it. All right. Hang on, thanks, one, thanks. Here, hang on one second, guys. Let me turn it back over to Bob. Where were we, Mike? Uh, what questions are you referring to? Uh, Bob, can I can I turn your screen back on? Is that all right? Uh, yeah. There's, yeah. Uh, there's a few questions about pricing. Um, some people were wanting clarification on uh, what version of XTrader the Algo Design Lab is included in. So that's XTrader Pro, I'm assuming. That is XTrader Pro, right? That's fourteen hundred dollars a month. Okay, and if they don't feel like ponying up for forty hundred dollars a month, then they can get X Trader free through you. But somebody was asking how how can you do that if it costs six twenty five a month? So I'll let you answer that. Oh, that previous question, yeah, it is a it is designed to be a transactionally based fee for X Trader. So instead of paying 625 a month, which a lot of traders that do lower volume, just getting started, getting used to the markets, we don't want them um, to have to settle for a program, uh, for, for a platform they don't want to use. And, and if they want X Trader, we want to kind of give them a way to get that and make it cost efficient for them, which is basically saying, we'll cover the costs and we're going to give you a higher commission to pay for that. And, you know, I basically, as long as you're doing under 625 round trips a month, it's worth it to you to use the free version. If you're doing more than 625, obviously there's no reason to get the free version. If you're doing 1,000 um, round trips a month, you don't want to pay $1,000 more in commission when the platform's only 625. So it's a way for newer traders to get in and get XTrader um, and be able to afford it. Right, and I, I see Greg asking um, if ADL can be added to their free version. And I, I think I know the answer, but I'll let you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we might make a commission that's something like 
thirty dollars a side, but uh, before then, I doubt that. <laughs> so you get you're going to have to get pro if you want ADL. Yeah, you're going to have to get pro. I mean, um, you know, pro is named pro for a reason. Um, it's it's a highly advanced platform for for highly advanced traders and. Um, they're fantastic features. I mean, ADL is very slick. When they came to show it to us a couple of weeks ago, we were we were very impressed by it. And um, you know, something like that takes a lot to build, takes a lot to support. And um, you know, this is why it's available in Pro. Right. Okay. And then I'd love to. I mean, we'd love to give access to everyone to do it. It's sure. And I see a few few questions about uh, commissions. So, if you wanted to show where it is on the website one more time. Yeah, sure. Uh, so we post all of our commissions right here. Um, you know, you can choose by exchange or just look at a long list since it's the most popular. Uh, you can go to the e-minis. You can click on commission or specs. You see our margin requirements here, 500 intraday. Click on commissions and it'll give you a rundown um, of our tier levels by volume. So this is the first tier if you do between 0 and 2,500 contracts. This is the rate you pay for XTrader subscription. You can see when you go to XTrader free, there's another version here, and our fix, there's different prices. So um, if you are a member, you can see how your prices go down. This is what I was talking about before. It's $1.76 per side uh, for XTrader for non-members and $1.06 per side for members. Um, members nowadays are actually fairly cheap for a membership. Um, there's more or less a $2,000 fee for uh, applying, which is non-refundable, uh, to the CME. And leases, I have seen the leases that cover the ES contract going for about $450 to $500 a month right now. Now, those vary, and the leases generally will last no more than three months, and you'll have to re-up. Um, but pretty inexpensive to save 70 cents per contract on. So if you're doing any amount of volume as far as you know that particular contract, that's covered by that particular membership. In a lot of cases, it makes it worthwhile. And that's what our membership desk does for you. We'll take in your situation and assess it for you and let you know if it's something that you should be looking at. And we can go out and find the lease. Uh, if you want to purchase a membership, they range from fifty to you know $150,000 to own them. Um, if it's in somebody's price range and they're doing enough volume, that makes sense as well. And we can tell them that. We can go out and find a lease and bid the lease for you and so forth. Okay, great. And I, I see just a couple uh, straggling questions that are more technical, so I'm going to invite Greg to uh, and Sal to just email you directly to get answers on those things. Um, and what was that again? It's operations at velocityfutures.com? Dot com, that's it, yes. Operations at velocityfutures.com. Or you can jump on chat on the website. You can see, um, sorry, let me show you that. Do I still have the screen? Yeah, you see the live chat right here. Just click on there and start chatting away. Someone should answer me. Okay. And uh, off we go. So. All right, guys. Um, great. All right, thanks, Bob, and thanks, Krista. And uh, it's a good presentation. I'm definitely very excited about the Algo Design Lab. I'm going to be reading up on that. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, I'll Thanks, post the Kristen. recording. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'll post the recording sometime tomorrow. If you guys have any other questions, then uh, just uh, talk to Krista or talk to Bob. Thanks, guys. See everybody on the forum.